Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's solve the problem number 3 on contract costing. A promising company undertook a contract for a total price of rupees 5 lakh. Following is the abstract from the year ending 31st March 2002. Material to sign, it is to be debited. Material purchased, debited. Labor, debit. Outstanding wages on 31st March not recorded. It is to be added to labor amount. Plant installed, debit side. Depreciation on plant. This amount will be deducted from the plant value. Direct expenses, debited. Outstanding direct expenses on 31st March not recorded. This amount will be added to direct expenses. Overhead charges payable on 31st March 2002. It is to be added to overhead charges. Overhead charges, debit side. Material return, credit side of the contract account. Work certified and work uncertified. This one we will take under work in progress or credit side of the contract account. Material at site on 31st March, it is to be credited. Cash received from the contractee, 360000 So, in this contract, they have given certain information. On the basis of these information, we have to prepare the contract account. Let's start the solution. Heading, contract account for the year ended 31st March 2000. So, first what we have to take, material sent to site. To material, 1 lakh. Then see the problem, material purchased, it is to be debited, right on the debit side. To material purchased, 70,698. Labor is to be debited. To labor, write the amount in inner column, 1 lakh 40,000 because the labor amount is outstanding. Outstanding wages on 31st March not recorded. So, this is the outstanding wages amount. It is to be added to the 1 lakh 40,000. So, write add outstanding 8,750 and total of these two, 1 lakh 48,750. Plant installed amount is 30,000. Write on the debit side to plant 30,000. Depreciation on plant. This will take later on. Direct expenses. So write on the debit side to direct expenses amount in either column. 6,334. Add outstanding. Outstanding direct expenses on 31st March is not recorded. 580. So, this amount will be added to direct expenses amount. Two direct expenses, 6,334. Add outstanding. The amount is 580. And total of these two, write in outer column. 6,914. Overhead charges payable on 31st March 2002. This is the outstanding amount. And overhead charges is 8,252. So, first we, will, first we will take this one. Two overhead charges. Write in the solution part. 8,252 add outstanding, outstanding amount, 9,250 and total of these two, 8,252 plus 9,250, you will get 17,502. Next, material return, it is to be credited by material return. 
work certified and work uncertified this one will take on the credit side of the account under the head work in progress by work in progress i have written the short form work in progress in that work certified amount is 390000 work uncertified amount is 9000 and total of these two 399000 material at site on 31st march 2002 it is to be credited by material amount is 3766 by plant so starting the first uh, starting value of plant is 30000 this will write here on the credit side by plant 30000 less depreciation see the problem depreciation on plant amount is 8000 this will be deducted from the plant value less depreciation 8000 so from 30000 minus 8000 you will get 22000 so both side we have to compare we have to compare debit side with the credit side and which side you will get the more amount from that side you have to minus the other one so in this problem the credit side you will get the more amount that is total of these four amount 1098 plus 399000 plus 3 3766 plus 22000 the total of these four item is 425864 and same amount we will write on the debit side 4,25,864 from this amount minus these items 1,70,698 2 and you will get 52,000 understood from 4,25,864 you have to minus all these amount and you will get the difference amount 52,000 and to this 52,000 you have to write two notional profit and same notional profit will be brought down here by notional profit brought down 52,000. So, this notional profit is to be distributed between profit and loss account and grizzle. So, the contract price is 5 lakh, correct? And work certified amount. 3,90,000. So, we'll see which condition is applied to this problem. 5 lakh into 1 fourth, you will get 1,25,000. So, this is the work certified amount is not less than 1 fourth of the contract price. So, leave the first condition. 5 lakh into Half that is two lakh fifty thousand you will get. So third second condition is not also applied. Five lakh into three fourth. Five lakh into three fourth you will get three lakh seventy five thousand. So work certified amount is more than three fourth of the contract price so in this problem fourth condition fourth condition what is said if the work certified amount is more than three fourth of the contract price or nearing to co complete the contract in such cases we have to 
calculate the amount of profit on the basis of estimated profit but in this problem they have not given estimated profit amount and not they have given any information related to estimated profit so we will take the third condition that is Two third of notional profit will be transferred to profit and loss account. So we'll write the note. Calculation of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. The formula is profit and loss account is equal to two third of notional profit into cash received divided by work certified. Same two third we will write here. Notional profit amount is 52,000 cash received. See the problem last sen sentence cash received from contract T 3,60,000. So that one we will take here divided by work certified. Work certified amount is 3,90,000. So calculate this 2 third into 52,000 into 3,60,000 divided by 390000 and you will get 32000 so this 32000 is amount transferred to profit and loss account so in solution part right to profit and loss account 32000 so the notional profit total notional profit amount is 52000 out of this to profit and loss account we have transfer 32 so remaining amount is transferred to reserve that is 20,000 from 52,000 minus 32,000 you will get 20,000 this amount is transferred to reserve to reserve to reserve 20,000 and the total of these two 50,000 52,000 and same amount will write on the credit side 52,000 clear a simple problem on contract costing so such types of problem will be asked for 15 marks thank you friends